VControl Pro from Nyrink Software is a powerful iPad application that acts as a portable, seamless extension of your audio or video workstation. In Media Composer and Symphony, VControl Pro provides multi-touch access to transport control, faders, panning, mute and solo, automation, plugins and much more. VControl Pro now works with a host of media applications, including Pro Tools, Logic Pro, Cubase, Media Composer and Final Cut Pro. We're going to take a look at how VControl Pro can change the way you work with Avid's Media Composer and Symphony. The Media Composer skin in VControl Pro has been redesigned to include a permanent scrub shuttle wheel. Turn the wheel to scrub through the project, double finger drag to shuttle. You can adjust faders, solo, mute and pan just like on a real hardware mixer. Since the iPad supports multi-touch, you can adjust two or more faders at the same time. In the Media Composer audio mixer, if you set the mode to auto and then hit the record button when the audio mixer is in focus, you can record fader moves and pans. In VControl Pro, you've added a number of dedicated buttons. Top right, there are four buttons to bring the EQ, Composer, Timeline and Mixer windows into focus. There's a button for toggling between Source Record and Trim Mode. There's a dedicated key for the Add Edit command, which cuts the selected tracks at the cursor position. And there are Undo and Redo keys. Below are dedicated buttons for Add Mark In, Audio Mark In, Audio Mark Out, Mark Out, as well as clear the In and the Out Mark. The transport controls at the bottom can optionally be set to the top of the screen in the New Preferences section. In the transport controls, from left to right, there is a Record button, which enables fader and pan automation record when the audio mixer window is in focus. There's a Go to Project Start button, Rewind and Fast Forward buttons, which locate to the previous or next head, tail or marker. There are dedicated Go to In and Out buttons, and Play Forward and Backward buttons. Tap multiple times to play faster or slower. There are also four buttons for jumping forwards and backwards one or ten frames. Note that some of the buttons like these operate differently depending on the window in focus. The multi-panel button brings up the V window display, which lets you select any open window in Media Composer or any other app to the screen. This is really useful for controlling plugins. Here we're controlling the RTAS compressor plugin on track 1. And you can make it full screen and zoom in on the content of the window. Touch the multi-panel button to show and hide the window. One of the most useful features are the programmable short keys. There are 16 keys with 4 modifiers providing a total of 80 shortcut keys. They correspond to keys in the command 8. Open the command 8 controller settings and the user guide illustration showing the locations of the 16 keys. Back in Media Composer, holding down the Shift, then Control, then Option, and then Command keyboard keys show the current key settings for each bank. We're going to program some keys in the Command Bank. Open the Command Palette, select Button to Button Assignment and hold down the Command keyboard key. In the Play tab, drag the Play Loop and Audio Loop Play into the first two buttons to assign them. Now we have to match these functions in VControl Pro. Select the command modifier to show the command bank. Touch and hold the first key, which we'd programmed to be play loop, to bring up the category popover. Select play and then the play loop function. Do the same with the second key, which in the command 8 we set to audio loop play. Now the button designations match the functions in the command 8. Changing the designations in VControl Pro does not change the function assignment in the Command 8 settings. Note that when you first use VControl Pro with Media Composer, or if you install a new version of Media Composer, make sure the designations in VControl Pro match the functions in Command 8. You can customize each of the five banks to your specific workflow to greatly speed up the editing process. So that's a quick tour of the powerful VControl Pro features with Avid's Media Composer. VControl Pro is available from the Apple App Store for iPad and iPad Mini. For more information, visit the Nyrink website or join us on Facebook.